You are watching Mancunia TV live from Mancunia Arts Centre. Our next guests are very two special guests from Manchester indeed. Both iconic Manchester faces. One of them, Dave Haslam, has been around forever. He's never left us. He's continued with his DJ sets. He's author. He's been a book writer. He's done all sorts. The other one, Cressa, has pretty much disappeared for the last few decades. But now, Cress is back. Dave Aslam's wrote a book about him, and it's a pleasure for him to be joining us today on Mancunia TV. Studio audience, let's hear it. Dave Aslam and Cressa. Great to see you both. Cressa, you're looking well. Dave Aslam, amazing as always. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. First of all, I'm going to start with you, Dave. You've wrote many, many books over the years. Why Cressa? Um, well, I like writing uh, stories that haven't been told before. And as you said, I think people knew Cressa from the 80s. You know, his, his connections with Happy Mondays and the Stone Roses particularly. And then, as you say, he kind of disappeared. But I, I, I kind of followed what he'd been doing. And I knew he'd hit hard times. You know, I knew that he'd become addicted to heroin and he'd become homeless. And I thought that was an important story as well. That part of his life was an important... I mean, how often do you hear somebody who's in that situation, you know, when they're begging, you know, outside Manchester Academy with a little cup in front of them? How often do you hear their voice anywhere, you know, in the media? So that was important. And so there's so many, so much, I thought, so much rich material, if you like. Um, and, you know, he's, he, he, he's a good guy and he deserves to be heard. For me, for me, the good bit was the fact that I managed to turn it round and, and pull myself up by my bootstraps and get out of there, do you know what I mean? That's the you whole can, point you of it. You can see how much love there is for you. That's the whole point of the book. For me, as far as I can see, is yes, I fell on me, on me bum bum, I don't want to swear, I fell on me uppers, yeah, and I was in a bad way for a right few years. I don't deny it, I do never deny it, I can't deny it, you know what I mean? Listen, if you're sat on the street and you're begging and you look up and you see your ex and your son and you hear, hello, daddy, wow, do you know what I mean? Oh, come on, I've been through the mill, but I managed to finally, just like I say, buy me bootstraps, pull myself up and get out of there. It's a brilliant, you know, story. It's amazing to have you back. You're looking great. Well, you know, you just mentioned, and Dave mentioned about the fact, you know, your connections with the Roses, the Mondays yeah, yeah, that everybody yeah. knows. Uh, ID magazine at one point called oh. you the face of Manchester. Wow. So, you know, to end up in the situation exactly. you did, it's pretty <laughs> but, yeah, but, really. but Yeah, but that just shows to anybody... It doesn't matter who you are, baby. You can have an house, yeah? Say, all right, you wake up tomorrow, your missus has left you, yeah? Oh, my days. Now you've got to pay the mortgage on your own. You can't afford the mortgage on your own. What the heck are you going to do? Oh, shit, now they foreclose on the mortgage. What are you going to do? Oh, my days, now where are you going to stay? Your pals can't put you up. They've all got kids and stuff. What are you going to do? Bang you out on the street, man. It's like that. You can't go to the council and say, give me a flat. <laughs> you, you've wrote a lot of books, Dave. You know, the story of Cressa needed telling. Um, you know, you're the man to do it. Why now? Uh, well, I mean, th that positivity that, that Cress has just kind of demonstrated there really appealed to me. And I think, you know, people go, go through a hard time. I mean, we've all kind of gone through a hard time in the last two and a half years. There's a lot of people who go through a hard time in Manchester, you know, with, with you know, uh, rising costs and all the stuff that we've had to put up with, with austerity. <laughs> You know, so a lot, so that's a part of the Manchester story. And we often hear the kind of mythology in the success of Manchester. And uh, look how many five star yeah. hotels we've yeah, got. And yeah. look at look the tower blocks. All the tower blocks are jumping. Who, who, who the hell are you living in these tower blocks, man? So, so this is, this who is, you know, this is a story. Who the hell can afford a flight in one of these tower blocks mm. that are all around Manchester? I'd like to know, me. I would really like to know. You definitely were the right man for the job to write this book, which we're going to talk about. Uh, in a minute. First of all, what about your relationship, Dave Haslam, Cressa? Platonic. About... It's platonic. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I didn't mean on, it like can I listen? I've, I've got to say, he tried touching me up one time. He tried, tried touching me up one time, but I knocked him back, and it was, and it was no more said. But you brought it out now. No, listen, I knew Dave um, from well, let me think, 1984. Yeah, just about, yeah. <laughs> and uh, and, uh, and in 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 uh, in Affleck's Palace with uh, mutual friends that we had, because he was working with a couple of friends of mine, David Turner and uh, Tina Street, and um, and then he was working with them, and you know I met him then. He was a bit of a strange geezer at the time, you know. 
He used to wear big boots and a, and a suit, and uh, yeah, he was a bit different, but you know. But there again, I looked a bit different with me flares and everything, so. <laughs> yeah, well, no, no hair. <laughs> so, you know, um, but yeah, I've known Dave a long time, and we always, yeah, we just got on, you know. No, it wasn't like, you know, but, you know, no, yeah, never had no problems ever. You go back a long way. You were very much a face of Manchester back in the day. Dave, did you know the hard times that Cressa had fallen on? How did you end up back in touch? Um, yeah, I did, I did know because I, I, I bumped into him a few times, you know, and, and a lot of his mutual friends, you know, uh, you know, we were always kind of asked each other, you know, have, have you seen Cressa around? Because, you know... There, there he bumped was... in, he bumped, you bumped into me outside the, rev, you know, the arches yeah. at the... At the op <laughs> ironically enough, opposite the Hacienda buildings. Yeah. And those arches there, those bars, I was sat there and Dave's walked up and gave me his number, but I lost that phone. And so that was two and a half, three years before we even managed to get in touch. But, you know, he'd already, he'd already, he'd already stretched the hand out, but I, you know, I wasn't in the right place at the time. You know, one thing I find really mad about this is so many people are Stone Roses fans, so many people know you from Spike Island, Blackpool, yeah. you know, the famous clip that was on television, uh, you know, with Ian Brown shouting amateurs and all yeah, that. Uh, you were part of all that, and the one thing I find really strange is how many people in Manchester must know you and have walked past you on the exactly. streets yeah. and not known it was you. So, I find that pretty frightening. Well, no, there was uh, quite a few people walked past and actually brought it up. Do you know what I mean? And uh, some people, to the Were credit, you recognised at all? A few times, yeah. But most of the time, I didn't want to be because <laughs> it's not a career option. Do you know, it was it was completely done under drug addiction, GRS. That was the only reason. I, was, I mean, I'm not going to sit on the street. I mean, what's Bob Marley's quote? Not one of my seeds will sit on the sidewalk and beg bread. Do you know what I mean? And I, but I had to do it, man. I had to. Well, I had to because otherwise, what was I going to do? Rob someone, rob a shop. I'm not that. I'm not that kind of guy. I, I'm. I'm more of a passive kind of. So if I sit here and if someone gives me money, right? Okay, thank you. I'm not going to ask you, but if you help me, help me out. But I'm not going to go and then knock someone over the head with a with a bottle or break into an house or go and nick stuff from a shop. That's just not me. I'm not that proactive it, with crime because I think crimes. Yeah. Wrong, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? And, you know, pretty much, you know what I mean? Come on, we all want to live together and have a fucking decent life, you know what I mean? But I had to at the time, I had to. I had a serious drug addiction and it, and it, and it impelled me to do what I did, which I'm not, I'm not proud of at all. There's a lot of us and a lot of people write articles about music in Manchester and I honestly believe that there's only one person really could have told your story. That's, that's Dave Haslam. Oh, saying, yeah. This is the book that's out now. It's called Not All Roses, uh, The Life and Times of Stephen Cresser. Uh, we'll talk about where you can get it from in a minute, but it is a brilliant read. Once you pick it up, you can't put it down. When Dave approached you about, you know, doing a book, what were your thoughts? Well, he, he kind of he tricked me. Cause at, first, go, the out <laughs> at first he said he was, he was doing a book about bands that had never made it in Manchester, i.e. Bad Man Wagon, which is the band I was with, and, you know, and he dropped a fuck... Uh, it's, it's part of my friend. A couple of other names in, and, uh, you know, that was that. And um, after the first interview, then the second interview, he said, well, yeah, I think you may be writing the book about you. How do you feel about it? I said, well, if you want to inflate my ego, man, I'm there. <laughs> So he kind of, he kind of, he kind of, you know, you know, listen in a very good way, in a very good way. When you put the book together, you go back to the early 80s, were there many surprises that came out that perhaps you found out about or Cressa told you that you didn't know about and perhaps blew you away? Yeah, I mean, there was, there was stuff in the 80s for sure. I mean, there was, uh, I, I discovered that we were kind of at the same gigs, you know, and, 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 and Cressa's memories is as good as mine, you know, in terms of, of, uh, I mean, I keep a diary, well, mostly. In I mean, I kept a diary and all that, you know, back then. So, um, I mean, I was more surprised by some of the other stuff because we talk in the book about um, Cress Cress's uh, relationship with Joe Strummer. You got to know Joe really well. Uh, and Damien Hurst. Yeah. And that, and, and they, you know, so these other things start coming into the story, um, you know, which makes it kind of extra fascinating. Uh, so I think that, that was kind of what surprised me. And, you know, when we did meet up, we did... You know, we did have 30 years to catch up on, you know. So, um, you know, the interviews were lengthy. 
I can imagine, and I can imagine there's a lot more than went in that book. One thing I want to know that I dare say a lot of people want to know as well is the Mondays, the Roses were massive, then perhaps there was a, a bit of a quiet period for the bands. Then over the years, the Mondays have continued touring, the Roses, you know, got back together, then massive gigs at Heaton Park. At any point, did you feel like getting in touch with any of them bands, or did they approach you? Um, well, uh, vis a vis the Mondays, I wouldn't have because me and them was unaffiliated years, but I must admit, I was a little bit surprised that I didn't get even invited to uh, carry bags or push a, push a box for the roses when they got together. Because, uh, you know, they didn't have to have me on stage. They could have just had me doing some kind of cosy little sinecure, you know, that was meant nothing, you know. Look it up, baby. <laughs> good word, and it? It's a good word. Sinecure, great one. Yeah. You know, they could have sorted me out with something like that, but they didn't, which, OK. Hey, listen, I know a lot of people have said to me, oh, well, Johnny, and they said, listen, in the past, Ian's helped me out big time. He helped me, he gave me a deposit and a first month's advance for a flat years ago, yeah? John Squire gave me money to go and see me old fella in Jamaica, yeah? Manny helped me out untold times. So them three, <laughs> no, I, 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 but, oh, they should be helping each other. Why, why, why should they? Why should they? I'm a grown man, should be looking after myself. I made my own mistakes, I've got to deal with them myself. So that's how I had to do it. So it took a while, but the dum dum dum. <laughs> it, it is quite mad because any footage you see of the roses back in the day, whether it be the short clips of Spike Island, the stuff on television, Chris is there. Yeah, I mean, if you, if you watch the Blackpool gig, uh, there's more of Cressa than there is of Manny. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so the book, it is available now. It is a brilliant read, and like I say, once you pick it up, you can't put it down. It's called Not All Roses, The Life and Times of Stephen Cressa, wrote by Dave Haslam. Where is it available from, Dave? Uh, well, it, obviously, it's a bit of a cult book, so it's, uh, you, you need to go online and track it down, mostly. Um, and there's one or two places in town that will have it. And, um, but, yeah, it's, it's easy to see. And, and, and obviously, I'm kind of... Uh, you know, I'm on social media, so if anyone has any trouble finding one, just get in touch with me and I'll, 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 I'll sort it out. Cash. It's a brilliant. But one other thing I want to mention, what you picked up on, Cressa. Now, I met you years and years ago, and I was DJing at the Ritz, and I can't remember who it was for, and you uh, gave me a copy of the Bad Man Wagon oh, CD, yeah. and you've yeah, just yeah. mentioned the band. What's happening with them? Is well, there any chance of uh, them coming uh, back? Uh, or? Uh, 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 There's well, a story here. Yeah, oh, it is a little one. Well, um, a Dutch company got in touch via Spencer. They've, uh, they've released, because it, it never got released, that, comp that album, yeah? So it's finally been released on all digital formats. We were hoping it'd be on CD, but, mm, yeah, but it's on all digital. I've got a copy of that CD. Yeah, I know, it without, or what? Yeah, no, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, probably, it probably won't play anymore. Um, no, it's out on all digital formats. Um, this, this Dutch company, um, yeah, it's a day late and a dollar down the bad my wagon, and hopefully, within the next, well, we're planning on the next three, four weeks, starting to rehearse again, and then four weeks after that, trying to get a couple of gigs together. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm DJing, I'm going on tour with them. Brilliant. If they get it together, I'm going on tour. You know what, you need to, it's great to see you so well. One last question I want to ask you. Yeah. Dave puts this book together, Not All Roses. Have you read it? Have you been through it? Uh, no, I, I thought I'd uh, turn it in. What were your thoughts when you read it? I thought it was great. I thought he hit the nail on the head. It, it, I, just, I was just like, wow, Dave, you've done a brilliant job. Did a bit of like reality kick in about well, what you've been through. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, obviously when you read and in print, you know, about begging and it's like, oh, God damn. Oh, I've said that. But yeah, you got to say it because otherwise, I'm not being honest about everything. And it got to be honest to be cathartic to get it all out the way to carry on in life. It's brilliant, and I said it before, and I'm going to say it again. It is definitely a story that need, needed telling. Oh, uh, we can't wait to see what happens with you. It's great to see him back on the scene. I think you'll agree. And good luck with Bad Man Wagon as well. And Dave Aslam, you've just wrote this book, and I don't believe for one minute you're going to stop there. What happens yeah. next for Dave Aslam? Uh, ne the, next oh. one's, the next one's my sequel. <laughs> <laughs> when when, when, when Cressa smashes it. <laughs> um. Oh, I've, al I've always got, yeah, I've always got stuff on the go. I mean, I've got lots of DJ gigs uh, lined up, and um, I'm, I, I've already done five of these. This is number six of the series, uh, these small format books, uh, which are ideal for people with short attention spans. <laughs> no, and but it's a, it's a nice way to just boom, 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 boom. Yeah. 
Get I in think in he's absolutely in bang, in bang on with that. That's very much what it's it is. Like yeah. bang, Once you start, yeah. it is, no, like I say, bang, 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 and you can't so put it. So I think I'm going to do eight of them, and then I'll see what happens. So who's number seven or eight? Can you tell us? I've got, well, a little bit of a swerve. The subject of my next book is Pablo Picasso. Right. So from Stephen Cressa to Pablo Picasso. It's a slight curve. Hey, but yeah. Like a... Two geniuses, to somebody just said, we'll have that. Uh, honestly, it's so good to see you both. Dave, it's a pleasure as always. Cressa, it's brilliant to see you nice again, one, and you're yeah. looking amazing. Well, All you. the very best for the future. Brother. And nice I don't one. need thank to you, say Dave. it, but good luck with thank the book. You. Thank you. Dave Aslam and Cressa, and once again, the book is now available. Dave Haslam, Not All Roses... Uh, the Life of Times of Steve and Cressa. If you follow Dave on social media, you'll find the link where you can get it. But an absolute pleasure. Dave Aslam and Cressa.